My name is Keith Robinson. I'm a captain in the United States Army, and I'm here on Columbia University's campus to uh, see my daughter graduate. Her name is Ruby Danielle Robinson, and I'm very proud of her. My daughter does not know I'm coming today, so she's going to be very surprised when, I, when she sees me. Um, we've gone through, uh, back and forth, and I had to let her know that it wasn't possible for me to be here because up to about two weeks ago, it didn't look like this was going to happen. So we started juggling things, and I got with my general, and he got me out as fast as possible. And, you know, God is good in so many ways. It's like every stop along the way, they were like, can you leave in 15 minutes? And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can leave in 15 minutes. So, no, she didn't know that I was going. She's going to be very surprised when I see her. Congratulations, Chuck Lady. <laughs> So proud of you. I love you so much. To have him here in the flesh means so much to me. I didn't expect it at all. I didn't think it was possible, so I'm so happy about it. To have your parents at your graduation is a big thing. We talked uh, about two uh, about two weeks ago. And I think we came to the conclusion that I wasn't going to make it. And then about a week ago, uh, when uh, my general started, went to work and started trying to make this happen for me, everything happened really fast. And, you know, a 14 and a half hour flight from Kuwait to D.C., another three and a half hours to Denver. Uh, the next day, turn around and fly back here. I mean, I haven't had time to stop and think about it myself. But when I saw her, it was like, oh, it was all worth it. I really didn't expect him to be there, and I was kind of upset about that, but I knew he had other duties to do um, in Afghanistan. So when he came, I was so excited. You got a smile. <laughs>
whose dad is serving in Afghanistan this Christmas decided to welcome home other soldiers lucky enough to make it home for the holiday. But the best present of all was making his way down the jetway. <laughs> First Lieutenant Kenyon Nelson of the Army Reserves has been deployed in Afghanistan since February, but his commanding officer saw to it that he made it home before Christmas. And his wife saw to it that the kids had no idea. Nelson spending his first moments with the kids he hadn't seen in nearly a year. 16-year-old Savion, 13-year-old Ajani in tears, and a long hug for the youngest, 9-year-old Kadir. Me dieron una. Ah, me <laughs> Me dieron, una, me dieron una sorpresa aquí entre Juan Carlos y mi hija y no me lo esperaba y, y ya me hicieron llorar. ¡Hijo! Are you okay? Breathe, Dad, breathe. <laughs> Breathe, 
breathe, breathe, breathe, breathe, breathe. So fresh. Happy birthday. Thank you. Say hi. We expect to get tomorrow. No, you were expecting him tomorrow. How are you? Where's your sister? I don't know! Oh. Do you have any idea who it was and her brother did not find her and we are up here waiting. Hi! How are you? Daddy! Daddy! Sorry I made you wait. Daddy! Where's the other bed? Daddy. 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 Well, nobody likes to be away from their family. For the brave men and women who serve in the military, it's a way of life. But before tonight's M Braves game, a soldier gave his wife the surprise of her life, and our camera was rolling to catch the magical moment. When Darla Harlow zipped that ball into the catcher for tonight's ceremonial first pitch, she had no idea who the man was behind the mask. But it didn't take long for her to realize it wasn't an M Braves player, but her husband Michael back from Afghanistan. It took a couple of seconds, but um, I just shock and just overwhelmed. Home plate became an emotional reunion for the happy couple and their children who've been apart for a very long time. It's been uh, nine months yeah. since I've seen her and wanted to make sure she remember what I look like. I didn't do the mask. <laughs> Michael is a major in the Army who's been protecting our freedoms in Afghanistan. The Harlows are big M Braves fans. Once the team learned about that, they helped Dad and his daughters set up the surprise on the diamond. She didn't faint last time. Last time I, I surprised her, she fainted. <laughs> Thank goodness she didn't faint. Well, Darla told us she had no idea it was her husband behind the plate. Michael will be at home for about 10 weeks before heading back to Afghanistan.